would like to conduct if you want to be for make you engage various stakeholders there we get head of agencies then we also get people there where they make their contribution from various sectors but before we proceed they will find for make we do short introduction of research when the stakeholders them because i know say we know both the ministers them and the head of um, agencies them so at least president self go i don't say no represent represent Good afternoon all. I am Abdul Malaga, CEO of Malaga. Good afternoon all. So in terms of the number of the So that uh, we look at the uh, public of Abdul Malaga. Ali. Hello, all. My name is Abdullah Jalo, representing Puda Puda and Boss Owners Association. Good afternoon, all. Mohamed Lamin Wairite, Chairman Puda Puda and Boss Owners Association. Good afternoon, all. James Eugene Faulkner, Puda Puda and Boss Owners Association. Good afternoon, all. Mina John Samuel Kalo Nubanya, the National Secretary for the Sierra Leone Commercial Multibank Association. Good afternoon, all. Omar Otiliba, the president of my credit association, Tirani. Good afternoon, all. Alpha Maduba, national president for motor drivers and general transport for Transunion, and representing transporters. Good afternoon, all. I'm Kainamu Kumaga II, secretary general of motor drivers. Good afternoon, all. My name is Anima Kubari, I'm the president of the Union. Good afternoon, public. My name is Ajay Pedro. My name is Ajay Pedro. My name is Ajay Pedro. Good afternoon, my name is Ajay Pedro. My name is Ajay Pedro. National Secretary of the Union Market Training Association. Good afternoon all, my name is Saidi Mantari, General Manager at NPSF. Um, good afternoon all, my name is Kobi Moka, CEO NPSF and President Sierra Leone Employers Federation. Good afternoon all, my name is Kobi Moka, CEO NPSF and Vice President. Well, now all thank you, thank you. Me and Master Farmer for not this seat. I'm the permanent secretary in this job trade. Well, now all thank you, thank you. We una introduce myself because if fine we una don't come, the president also I know say like I say it's a bit many many of una, but some of una already come for the very first time. Make he get una name and then put onto the face. Now for make we introduce una proper one. I would like for introduce the Minister of Trade. We will come welcome una to this special interface with President Organize. Now we'll clap for the Minister of Trade. I'm my own person. Thank you very much. Your Excellency the President, Honorable Vice President, colleague ministers. We found them within the business community we can here today. And the CSOs they also we can join we way they look at how we do business in the country. I want for you this opportunity for welcome on all now this very meeting where his excellency in such a way we don't look for for able to talk to Una, the business people. Today one that we can hear from the business community, they come up from all the sector. Some of them are small businesses, some of them are medium, some of them are large. We get the trader of them, we get the importer of them, we get the manufacturer of them, we get the transporters, we get the distributors, and of course the CSO. Them, them people there, you know, all which thing they do, then they help for make sure say. The economy of this country uh, can go before. Um, in the last two and a half year, we all know say 
COVID-19 and above Bokutin. Waiting happen at the global level result to the shrinking of the global economy and Una Sesebe as business people in the field. Some of Una, Una lost Una business. Some of Una not be able to get money for even do Una business then again. The lockdown then make them very difficult for make Una move, for make Una do the kind of business they want to be on the do. And even locally, the lockdown that we've been there in restrict Una. And Boko of Una losses of Boko of Una, Una capital they reduce. In spite of all this, the government not be sit on no more and see how thin they be. When I see say government come inside and do a whole thing them, we will support the business community. Um, when I will justify say, I will just say the government do different different policy reforms, do different different programs then come with ways and means to help Una or get um, capital for make Una continue for do business then. The small business women then we then we teach them and we market them we get support in various ways. His Excellency in Sesebe um, initiate the Munafa program we benefit a good number of we um, market women and market women. The big, big businesses, we can see how the bank governor, the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Trade come together to see how we will provide some kind of soft um, support where the government provide about $50 million in different, different ways for help on they will buy it in them way salon people they need. As we almost when they get out of the COVID-19, we all had to begin cold. Then something else happened. The war in our Ukraine don't can cause any own trouble. Not only that, the war in our Ukraine make them difficult for me to buy it in the way from one of them part and then at the world. Um, the kind way them way will be not used for the do business all don't change. Because the war affects both over the market in Europe, even in Asia. And today we see, say, even the petroleum product we they use for move around, instead of being get small problem for get the volume they won't need. So now with all this, His Excellency say, make we come and talk to this government and the private sector. This a one very big opportunity we will share with him and we will experience them, we challenge them, and even acknowledge with him government on them. One way with this to get for help is that once government able to understand clearly or more accessible within the one that they go through, then more support we get for common. That make we come with all the ministers we concern. We don't see say Anytime we small team, be not to the Ministry of Trade wandering in Tokiwala. Then two days there are we free of problem day. Me, the Ministry of Finance, the Bank Governor, the Minister of Transport, the Minister of Agriculture, we all we all come together, even the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. So this is how and of course when I see how the Vice President has been decided to go at the media for able to address a couple of um, concerns. So now who say we find myself, we really want to find ways to we'll get this kind of discussion and His Excellency the President very very happy. I know say when I say something at the business community, we really look forward to this. We tend on I want to tell you all thank you when I come and just wish say this particular interaction will be productive. Thank you. Thank you very much the Honorable Minister of Trade. Your Excellency, like you said, we get beaucoup, beaucoup stakeholders in here. But what we do, we try to make sure say, we get people that we, we represent most of them challenges and thoughts. 
Because if we say we want to let everybody talk, I don't think we go down by the meeting today. So we try to forget about five speakers who divide the various sectors them. But I don't say each speaker already come, they represent a sector and people are there today. So for represent first the petroleum sector, we will start with the statements from Mr. Amadou Kassinja. We now look at partner for Connex and Total Energy SL Limited. Now more clap for Mr. Amadou Kassinja. Excellency the President, Honorable Vice President, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. The Excellency, on behalf of the Chairman, Mr. Sharif Abdallah, the Board, my country manager who is here with me, uh, my colleagues at NP, Leon Oil, APP, and my brother Malado, the young Chilorina Tycoon coming up. The dealers, association, resellers, transporters, and all stakeholders, for the stakeholders in the downstream sector. I want to thank you for inviting us, Your Excellency, at this stakeholders meeting or interface. To my mind, Your Excellency, this stakeholder meeting demonstrates that you are a president who is inclusive and caring. Your Excellency, sir, the past few months, have been very challenging for our sector. But these challenges have given us an opportunity to strengthen the cooperation between our sector and the government. Let me use this platform to state very clearly that the current fear situation worldwide, not only Sierra Leone, has been caused by three <coughs> principal factors, for those of you that don't know, but not limited to them. One, the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. I know this might sound as music to some of your ears. Russia supplies 56% of the zeal that is consumed in Africa. The Russian-Ukraine crisis is one of the major impacts on the global supply chain of petroleum products. This means even vessels, the turnaround for vessels coming around, bringing those products has really been hampered by this. Two, the increase in the cost of fuel and petroleum products worldwide. Because of the ongoing war, sir, Russia and, Korea and, uh, Russia and Ukraine, cost of fuel and its transportation have increased tremendously globally. This means the cost of the same product of fuel that we used to bring in country before the war has now almost doubled today. Our suppliers also now requested that we pay them for products, sometimes in cash, as compared to what we used to do previously by paying for products with a banking instrument and giving us time between 30 to 90 days after delivery. Hence, additional pressure it's also been put on local banks, the central bank, the government, and us as OMC. Three, the inadequate foreign exchange. Because of the increase in the cost of fuel products, the demand for foreign exchange has increased tremendously. Product purchases are made in US dollars, as we all know, but we are so they are sold in our local currency, the Leo. This means getting this foreign exchange to pay for purchases has also slowed down the importation of products in country. Therefore, the shortage of fuel, including diesel, or the rapid increase in price of fuel is therefore, is therefore not created by the government or any oil marketing company in this country. Oil marketing companies have indeed been cooperating with or working with and collaborating with the government through the Ministry of Trade, PRA, as partners to ensure availability and supply of products. We appreciate the efforts of the Minister of Trade, 
PRA and all the stakeholders involved. As a matter of fact, Your Excellency, despite the challenges, petrol has been available in most of our stations, branded and non-branded. Fear station throughout the country. And I'm also safe to say this, that we as OMCs have been selling product to members of the public during these challenging times. You might see some uh, queues at stations, but that doesn't mean we don't have product. It is true that there was a low stock of diesel in the country, but we have managed to replenish our stock to ensure that the country does not run out of diesel completely. With the recent assistance from the uh, Central Bank Foreign Exchange, we have also been making sure that fuel is available to essential service providers as well as the general public. Your Excellency, sir, we would like to assure you, including the general public, that our numerous customers, that by this weekend, we will be receiving a consignment of petroleum products in country. And that includes diesel and petrol that will be made available for the public to access. Our partners, namely MP, Leon Oil, also brought in a vessel of products a few days ago. And that has really helped during this crisis. Next week, uh, we are also expecting another vessel from Connex that will be in country. We as OMCs are working together to make sure that we keep the country wet with product at all times. Your Excellency, sir, I would like to use this opportunity to thank the Bank Governor of our country for his continuous support in providing us with foreign exchange. But I would also like to request through you, sir, for him to increase the su its support in providing our much needed foreign exchange. Because without it, we cannot operate. It is a critical component in our business and that will enable us as OMCs to import products and make it available to the general public sir. Ladies and gentlemen, let me end by saying this, that no government, and I'll repeat this, no government in the world, the oil marketing companies, is happy to bring or bring in hardship to its people. And therefore, let me assure you, sir, Your Excellency, and the people of Sierra Leone, that as OMCs, dealers, actors in the downstream sector, we will continue. We will continue to work with the government in the best interest of our people in our country. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Amaluka Sinja, representing the petroleum sector. And I now also invite a representative of the transporters, Alpha Amaruba, President, Motor Drivers and General Transport Workers Union, for a statement. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon again. Your Excellency, the President of Sierra Leone, Third Brigadier Dr. Julius Mada Biu. Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Juli Jalo, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Let me start by stating that the motor drivers and general transport workers union exist to defend, protect, and promote the welfare of drivers and general transport workers in Australia. This is why we are grateful to Your Excellency, the President, for your immense support to the sector. In addition to the construction and maintenance of roads and bridges in the country, the Government of Sierra Leone, through the leadership of Your Excellency, has continued to work tirelessly in promoting national cohesion, security, peace, development, and prosperity for all in spite of the challenges that confront us as a country and at the global level. 
Please permit me to inform you that the Motor Drivers and General Transport Workers Union has always cooperated with the government and other transport stakeholders in many areas of national development. For example, our participation in the activities to supply vehicles in clearing debris barrier after the Uruwaf Junction Wellington Fire incident caused by the collision of an oil tanker and a cheaper truck that was carrying granite stones. We have also embarked on a sustained campaign for the criminal virus prevention sector. Your Excellency, sir, members of the Union have recently faced challenges related to short supply of petrol and diesel fuel. I should hasten to say, however, that a recent act of lawlessness by some people claiming to be members of the union, we are not authorized by the leadership of the union. We condemn all acts of violence and lawlessness, and we continue to urge all members to be patient as we work with your excellency and your government to address the issue. Having said that, your Excellency, sir, members of the union, drivers, vehicle owners, apprentices, secretaries, faces genuine challenges. This includes a manipulation of volume of supply and prices of fuel by petroleum fuel dealers, for example, petrol and diesel. This causes rumors, panic, speculations, unpredictable of operations, running of vehicles by drivers because of the unavailability and high price of sale. Example, by Monday, 28th March, 2022, a batter of diesel was sold for 800,000 instead of the official price, 300,000 How can a vehicle run? Lawless and malicious people capitalize on the situation to spread all sorts of rumors and action that led to the ugly situation on that day. The commitment of SLRSCA to cooperate with railway motor drivers and general transport workers union to ensure that letter get membership of drivers from the people from the point of issue of driving license. This will help us keep accurate, up-to-date data about the number and working partners of drivers. In conclusion, sir, we are, we are however grateful for the support we continue to receive from the government of Sierra Leone and your excellency, even as we look forward to address the following issues. One, availability and affordability of fuel. Two, Cooperation between the oil marketers, contractors, and dealers, on the one hand, and the motor drivers and general transport workers union, on the other. Three, healthy employment of more drivers by the owners as they make reasonable profits that can enable them to buy more vehicles and can meet the demand of the public. Four, we further appeal to government to bring more vehicles. The speed implementation of IRO project will be additional advantage and benefit to the public. Uh, the other one is okay to you, sir. The drivers union and the transport transporters will tell you thank you for the inside road. Now the traffic no will be less. Tell you thank you. Then this uh a road again the tell it take it because they don't the, the way we go some vehicles from the western part of the town don't be going towards to the road of life. Tell it take it sir. Last but not the least, and you don't really gonna be giving it to you. Now I'm making it. Thank you, thank you. The president of the motor drivers and general transport workers union we don't put together the thoughts of the company within the sector 
Your Excellency, you also know the Chamber of Commerce, a very, very critical and important partner in the private sector, where they represent Boku Boku organizations and associations there. So therefore, I would like to invite Mr. Christopher Foster, who is the President for Salon Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. A round of applause for Mr. Christopher. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President, Honorable Vice President, Ministers of Government, Heads of Agencies, various business member organizations, I greet you all. Your Excellency, we thank you for the opportunity extended to us to have this all-important discussion around the current economic climate and pertinent issues facing the business community. I know we talk like we will English at the but I will talk simple English so all men will understand. I would also like to congratulate you, Your Excellency, and the government on a number of reforms the government has taken to continue to improve the business climate in Sierra Leone. We particularly note some of the actions the government has made over the years in the form of reduction on taxes on commodities, policy reforms, and industrial special economic zone, doing business reform reforms, support the SME agri-processing via the World Bank project, to name but a few. We also acknowledge the government's commitment to further boost the agricultural sector and continue to attract foreign direct investment. Your Excellency, despite these successes, the Chamber would like to draw your attention to a few business member organizations' sector challenges that need the intervention of the government. I wish to start with the all-important agricultural sector, which when I was growing up in Freetown as a young boy in the early 1960s, Sierra Leone exported rice. And I'd just like to take one, continue the agricultural sector, about the challenges that are facing the agricultural environment. There's a difficult, I don't say impossible, a difficult land leasing process. There's a high cost of environmental licenses. There's difficult, cumbersome, cumbersome and costly importation and export, and export processes. For the business people, time is money. Things that take uh, more than a few days is an issue for business people. And also the legislation, the policy must be completely clear. There should be no lack of transparency there's also poor access to markets and also relatively poor access to finance. Commercial agribusinesses are prone <coughs> to focus criticism by civil service organizations, civil society organizations and non-governmental organizations. We're not saying that those businesses should not be criticized, but some of the criticisms actually border on being unscrupulous. The main issue facing this particular sector, in our opinion, is the land bill that reduces the lease time from 50 years to 21 years and is applicable to existing leases. I'll give an example of how difficult that could be for some particular businesses. If I plant a tree, or a whole area of trees, and I want to harvest the wood, it takes about 12 years for that tree to grow big enough for me to start commercially harvesting and recouping my money. By reducing the lease from 50 years to 21 years, the time I have to recoup and recover my investment reduces from 38 years to nine years. It means I need to go back to my shareholders and tell them that financial model I had is no longer in operation. I will not be able to pay you back your dividend in this space of time. I may have to go for get recapitalization. Let's talk about the importers I'm going to speak, so I'll be brief on the imports section. There's the clearing processes are often convoluted and long, both for import and for export. And there's a limited time where a container must be cleared from the port before it starts incurring the knowledge, which is extremely expensive. And there are also challenges in cross-border trade. Numerous challenges which I believe the market women and other smaller traders have to face on a daily basis. 
a little bit better. Let's come to the hotel and tourism. There's a low occupancy in hotel rooms and entertainment locations, especially along Longley Beach. However, last week, Rochi hosted a district assembly and conference here where we were able to attract 500 plus materials from the nine other countries in our district. And I'd like to thank you personally, Your Excellency, for gracing our opening ceremony and the fine speech you made on your behalf. We're extremely grateful. We were able to attract that number of uh, participants basically for two basic reasons. The Ivorians, 100 plus of them, chartered an aircraft from Abidjan to Freetown and back. And it cost them $500 return, which is about half what it would cost you on a normal commercial aircraft. We also negotiated with the hotels to give us very good discounted rates <coughs> of around $100. So imagine 500 people paying $100 a night in Freetown. That's $50,000 every day coming into the economy. Take that for a week, that is 350,000 euros. Take the food that is spent, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's take an average of $40. That is another 150 plus thousand dollars over the week. So in that, without counting the shopping, that's more than half a million dollars came into the Sierra economy during that week. So this is what the transport fares and discounted hotels are big inputs into getting people to come here. I'd like to say though that the Rotarians from around West Africa had such a good time that many of them said they want to come back to visit Sierra Leone. The Guineans came by road, the Liberians came by road, and they commended us on the quality of the roads in Sierra Leone. Even the Malians, they took a big bus, 60 plus of them came with a big bus from Bamako to Kandam to Conakry and then down to Peter. Now the way forward, Your Excellency, we at the Chamber believe that the Chamber and the other big business member organizations would appreciate working together with the government in achieving our sustainable development goals and how this can have a positive effect on the business climate and subsequently benefit the business community. Ultimately, an improvement in the business environment will, in, will result in an increase of tax for the government. We know a strong economy allows government to deliver the public services and social provision that is so important to all of us. And the Chamber is committed to playing an active role at helping businesses grow and stay there through reforms and an improved business environment. One such area is the public-private dialogue. Your Excellency, sir, on the occasion of the state opening of the first session of the Fifth Parliament of the Second Republic of Sierra Leone, in the Chamber of Parliament building Tower Hill, Freetown, Your Excellency pledged that your administration will, I quote, promote competitive, fast-growing, and liberal economy led by the private sector. We agree with your statement in paragraph 103 to 106 on the budget when you say, unquote, the private sector has an instrumental role to play as the engine of economic growth and poverty reduction. We also agree with the thrust of the government's reform agenda to achieve economic diversification and create jobs. However, as it is the private sector that best knows where the shoe pinches, we recommend that the government pursues these reforms and other measures to strengthen the private sector within the concept, the context of public-private dialogue. We therefore commend your government for setting up the National Investment Board, and I am happy to inform you that we have had a fruitful working relationship over the past few months. We are happy to have made inputs into the NIB bill that was sent to Parliament for it to be passed into law. However, the Chamber will need the government intervention in passing this bill into law to allow these discussions that have started to proceed within the ambit of the law. We strongly believe that PPD will promote dialogue between the public and private sectors and identify ways for the two sectors to work together in a complementary manner and more effectively in the delivery of projects. 
We also believe that the PPD will build trust and bridge gaps to lay the foundation for joint problem analysis and identification of policies and institutional reform that contribute to a more conducive environment for private sector development. The other recommendation is for the private sector to be called in at the front end of policy writing, as opposed to being made aware of them when they have been completed. The private sector is well aware that the responsibility for writing policy rests with the public sector. But note that it is implemented through the private sector. Being the implementing partner means that we have intimate knowledge of what exists in the marketplace, what exists on the ground. The private sector can advise at the inception of policy writing where there are obstacles to be avoided, thereby ensuring the policy will be implemented fully and effectively. The final point going forward is the removal of older policies when new ones are written. When older policies and practices remain in place, there is conflict between government agencies that are responsible for executing those policies and the private sector pays the price. One example is when NASIC was, was formed, and I did in the early 2000s. I served on the investment board in the early 2000s, 2001, 3, 4, and 5. NASIC came in on the slogan that we're here to replace the pensions. However, the private sector is facing what is, is actually an extra cost because the end of service benefits were never removed. So in addition to paying the end of service benefits that have been in existence since the 1960s, we have the additional, additional cost of paying NASIC. So it is something that I think the would like to discuss with the government about how the policy can be written to ease that little because it has a huge, huge cost. So these are some of the issues facing the private sector that can be worked through by making use of a structured PPD process, which has definite chance of meeting maybe every two months or every quarter, but then that will give the private sector time for all the BMOs to come together, meet as a group, and formulate the things that are facing each particular sector and take it forward in one group so that the public sector doesn't have to deal with 1,000 voices at one time. But there's a forum where all these things are collated and they can be given and studied and worked through. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Foster, President, Sahelian Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. We will then proceed very swiftly by inviting <coughs> Mr. Van de Lanzana, the Secretary for Traders Council, for a statement. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Honorable Vice President, permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Oh, Mr. Chairman, I think I want to deviate from the previous speakers. Let me speak in Creole for a better understanding of our people. Your Excellency, sir, I bring you greetings from the traders of this nation. And the one tell you, say, will tell you thank you for a lot of things that we you don't do. Being traders of this nation, we believe say, we are the movers and shakers of this economy. And we are one of the largest sectors in the informal sector. The one tell you thank you, one for key things that we will believe, say, you don't do. A way then, Tia, don't bring some development into the lives of food traders there. In the first place, as the minister did the talk, when Corona don't lavish the world, things were very difficult. Economy don't shatter now most of the world. You intend for bring money when you put on a bank for the big importers there. This money, we bring some amount of development and it change certain things in the country. Because at that time, we have experienced shortage of commodities. But because of that money, if you put on a bank for support to importers them, I believe, say, at that particular time, things are not be shorting. And it not be done by mistake because business na change. When somebody imports, somebody they will buy. When he buy, other person they will buy and retail. You look at that particular structure, 
we decide for rule out the Munafa. We will believe say na a single digit. We na first of its kind in the country, with a lot of incentive into that particular Munafa program. Day. Traders over 5,700 benefits out of that particular program. We want to be thank you for that day. You look again, say there are people where they do petty petty trading, market women. Day. You decide at the time where things been difficult. You roll out the emergency cash transfer with NAXA. You roll out to we. That money, it looks small to you or other people. Eh? But traders really appreciate them. Because 1 million 300 leons, it changed Boku Boku trader in life. So man, na bara, he did bara. Na trust, he did go trust market. He did opportunity for getting money. He know they trust again, he did go buy. And he utilized that money today. There are testimony where they show to we say, yes, traders, they benefit out of that money. We want to thank you for the shift intervention of the fire accident. The PMB incident, the Kinjimi Belgium, the Diwaf, a lot of traders then they will then fall into that particular incident. We tell you thank you for the support where you support the traders there. It was a surprise. It was first of its kind. We want to thank you for that one day. But I want to remind you, say there are another incident we happened in Kabala where 26 shops they born. We tell thank you some officials from the party and other people in a visit. But they asked me for the car. Tell you, see, yes, traders and they will not suffer out of that particular fire incident. Again, we don't see China no law. Some man are online business, they do. A lot of talents they did in that particular drive. We don't open up talking for we. But a bilateral relationship. Today, we tell us the benefits out of that talking trip. Traders now they push their money together. And travel na Turkey. And do ya wa make it straight in this relationship. Today we don't understand again through the hard work of the Minister of Trade and team. India and self not open to be. This is a foundation way they put for let traders and take advantage of and let them develop themselves. We appreciate. Today we can able to take a look at products from Salon, you take and go Indian, and they get duty free. You can able to buy from India, you can you can sell. This is a wonderful thing so you don't do for we when they buy and sell. We appreciate and acknowledge the facts they are. You don't reduce tax for certain essential commodities like iron rod, cement, rest, and flour. These are basic things them when they support the Sierra Leonean people. We appreciate for their kind here we don't do. Salon don't become a signature to the African Free Continental Trade Agreement. This again they open a lot of windows and opportunities for people to do business. We hope and pray the government, the government they will support the business people, the private sector for take advantage because this gave for open competitiveness. With all NTI we don't do, Mr. President, the traders here will still get some talent you want to bring up to your knowledge. In as much as you don't try to rule the Munafa, but still traders they deal with they need more money because the first phase of the Munafa just attained to 5,300 and more traders. So one do ya through a good office, they put more money inside that basket day. So that more traders we will benefit across the country. <laughs> one acts with a sofa who still then are treat on the rain on the sun. One market place them. The existing market where they deal now, not for perishable items. We will not see it any market where they deal with textiles and other commodities. And for that, you see, we trade as again a street under rain, under sun, under pressure. We day today, police can say we come on in two, three hours' time. So, do you have the trader and say, do you have make you consider or we'll see how best they will fast track the iron project? We get two components of markets. And let us see how we go speedily try for complete the silver ground market. We will ease up the pressure within the CBD. We trade as a way to do cost border trade. They suffer now because now if you buy dollar, can I go to give you the losses? Can I go to Liberia in the losses? And then people are not used for travel and Liberia and Guinea go bring business and pick and come. So the foreign exchange become a challenge for we own particular traders that really do business across the coast. Other thing again, what they talk on the taxation side, Your Excellency. The small Puskas will be see this BNT and at the result of the GST. They reduce GST from 350 million as a threshold to 100 million. With every trader that treats see himself, they say one day, one come, he get for me. Attract to this particular machine. So, one day, you use the good office. Since parliament don't pass them up as a law, 
But Lord, we look into them. Lord, we concern them greatly and no sin. For now, if we not bring the threshold to 100, businesses they will collapse. Man that shop will lock his shop, they cannot treat. Because the man that treats, that hang in the hang and sell. So business will be stifled in that particular direction. Again, we get issue with taxes where they go around the local councils. It's unfair for them man get a table four by four. You get pepper, you get maggie, you get tamatis, you get a bus. Each and every of them community here, they they drop ticket they, at the end a small table they pay over five, six, seven thousand. It's unfair to me, Your Excellency. We didn't have market that follow group. If a trader they pay over four or five tickets only for Maggi, Tamatis, Yabas, if you get Barabara rest, you get English rest, all type of rest, each and every of them is a small table, and the taxes for pay for them, you fear. So, why do you consider that? Again, and again, would they try for recommend your excellency? Say, do ya as I say in the earlier. We did a show here two, three years back. We'll be there back in this very same engagement. We can tell you, say, what we will present to you. You could do them, and if you do them, indeed, you don't need for work again for campaign. We're gonna do the campaign for you, and you don't start for manifesto. Please, the Munafa, we want to prioritize them, and we want to set the business organizations. Them, they will be part of the process. I will be the criers that they see the FSP there, and the building, and the building, because the interest for the good people there, even too much, 27, 28, 30 percent. Today, you don't bring nine percent. It's very perfect. But we want let we self take the lead because now we they talk. Now we don't cry to government. If a speeder, now they will be the talk against today and the chapter of the program. We don't get problem with that one day. But let them make sure we involved so that people themselves they will benefit out of the Munafa. Because you step to it on the board can say that you will the role for the traders then. So we serve represent the representatives once you step into the process. So that the people that will for benefit, they will benefit and we will talk, we will talk for let the world will say, yes indeed, you don't do something for the traders then. What I recommend again, do ya, Mr. President. The minister, they do a very good work. In the next week, they coordinate and they ensure say, the business community and try well. So, when do you through ministry, then you consider the market issues there. We will not get stuck. If you go down on Echoa Street, you go down on Garrison Street, the traders are not door, then they left the market there. Stores they're not there at all. But we pay paying taxes. We pay the local taxes to the councils. We pay tax. We pay other taxes there. So all these are facilities for believe in traders they need for enjoy under your government. One call on the government to give for them now carefully as I say, we think on the GST side. The GST, the threshold that it left for us at 350 million for the people. Tell them that thank you for the audience. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Lanson. And I make if I forget to get leader, I talk with passion because they represent the incumbent. Your Excellency, we also will proceed and get the last representative. We for can talk on behalf of incumbent. We are the representative of the importers and the manufacturers. We are Mr. Rashid Conte, President of the Manufacturers Association. inviting a cross-section of the private sector to our dialogue. I am representing the Importers Association, which is the leading voice in Sierra Leone private sector, representing both large-scale importers and SMEs. We also raise awareness about private sector constraints through advocacy, uh, capacity building, and knowledge sharing. Your Excellency, sir, as a group, we are the largest taxpayer in the country, contributing a significant proportion to government revenue. <coughs> Without a vibrant and functional private sector, economic development will be slow. The much needed revenue required by government to support flagship programs will suffer, and unemployment will remain stubbornly high. Your Excellency, sir, we want to specifically thank you for your policy direction in the following areas. Reduction in duty on essential commodities, such as rice, flour, cement, iron rods. 
This does not only reduce the tax burden on importers, but does also help cushion household disposable income. Two, the disbursement of 50 million as a revolving fund by the Central Bank of Sierra Leone with single digit interest rates for the importation of essential commodities at the peak of COVID-19 was commendable and successful. I thank you very much for that gesture, sir. The trade reforms rolled out in the last 24 months by the Ministry of Trade and Industry in areas short as ECOWAS liberalization, simplified trade policies, business-friendly policies, etc., have helped proactive business people like myself here to reposition ourselves as against competition from the other continents. I am one short story. I have transformed myself from being a mass importer of furniture into the country to now having the largest garage factory in the Mano River Union and also the largest cassava farm in the country. I want, <laughs> I want to specifically thank the Minister of Trade who has been very supportive and proactive in the success of this factory, Your Excellency. He has not only been visiting the factory, he has even offered his own professional advice in transforming my waste into, um, into animal feed. I thank you very much. Um, <laughs> the rollout of the single window system has hugely complemented trade reforms and the clearing process at the ports with record time compared to, to other countries in the region. We are grateful for the local content policy at work and likes of integrated business services and transport and uh, port management system run by several unions. I want to specifically thank the uh, Minister of Trade for that as well. The launch of the free trade zone with first class infrastructure and support service will help boost local production across the agricultural value chain. This will not only reduce our over-reliance on imported commodities, but it will also enhance our export potential for the much needed foreign exchange. The launch of the Munafa Fund through SMIDA has enhanced the capacity of many SMEs that were badly affected by the COVID-19. I humbly thank you very much, sir. Your Excellency, sir, I must also draw your attention to some of the constraints faced by local importers. One, foreign exchange. Scarcity of foreign exchange in our local banks. Instability of foreign exchange rates. Two, high taxes on trade and the reduction of the GSC threshold. Uh, cost of duty still too high on commodities. Charges levied by various clearing actors at the ports are still very high. The reduction of the GST threshold from $50,000 to $8,600 is untimely and unhelpful. It has brought a new set of small and micro businesses into the GST nets, and that has encouraged multiple payments of GSTs for some goods. This has fueled inflation. The high interest rate of 22 to 25% and sometimes can go as high as 35% for microcredit companies. High cost of shipping affected by war risk and COVID-19. Multiple documentation and charges for both importers and exporters is still hard. Now, our recommendation, sir, uh, we do ask governments to reduce the tariff on essential commodities and consumables to 5%. We want governments to reinstate the GST threshold to its original threshold of $50,000. Governments to reduce uh, withholding tax by 3%. Governments to eliminate GST on air tickets and reduce other related addition, as the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce President has stated there. Governments to extend the marriage free period to 10 working days. That would be very helpful for us. Government to reduce bank interest rates to single digits, if possible, uh, Mr. Bank Governor. The government to eliminate GST on pharmaceutical. I thank you very much for this. Thank you very much, Mr. Rashid Komte, for that presentation. 
Um, the presidency of the UAE from the all. Um, I don't say we what could they we the people that we can talk they represent. But I hope say they're not able to capture most of what in that the challenges them and also they also don't commend the president on many things that we the government don't do for support the private sector. So therefore I'm the pleasure now for make the president we don't listen to now, make himself respond. And also we get uh, ministers and uh, head of agencies and uh, just in case we uh, need any further clarification, they said the uh, express the president. Thank you very much. <coughs> the Honorable Vice President, Ministers, Deputy Ministers, our business community in Threadun, good afternoon. Um, Better late than never, I think we should have been dialoguing and talking about these issues long before today. But better no grand it than we've not ever done. Um, the reason why we did Nayana because we PC we get an obligation to the poorer sector of we society to make sure say we reduce the burden on them. Business and business, of course, the first thing na profit. But we for provide the policy environment, the regulatory organs, or uh, um, structure for make sure say we protect the poorer people. Of course, today we did talk about the inflation, the, the high prices that we don't occur all right around the world. But now we own na salon now we care for. If we get for able <coughs> regulator, I think we get for make sure say we engage one. As I say, when they make a lot of recommendations, uh, when they suggest certain things that we government they do, we government need for do, for reduce the burden on one. But they also we also want for make sure say who will do that, we not self will translate that into reducing the burden on the ordinary people. The truth is, these are extraordinary times. We have no business with the war in, 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 um, between the two countries. But we have business with it, because when they suffer now, we have no say. And let me talk to me, let talk for further, let me listen to myself. But we people, they suffer. You know, and then, um, why we need forget this dialogue? Because um, in this community, we can able frankly discuss the issues and some of the things they want to raise, and the things they way government normally not would think about them. Like they talk about making sure that we expunge certain policies, where we discard them, and discard them, where we don't finish with them, where we don't uh, get new policies, and for make sure, say, right from the outset, you are involved in those in the policy formulation. I think that is a good point to make. And I feel say we don't hear it and we will take that into consideration. <laughs> Every two way government they do not for not for put burden on the business community. Because as a matter of fact, we put burden on the uh, business community, they know certainly the transfer. Now we hope to kill them to the ordinary people. So we need for the Sidon in the dialogue all the time. It has to be continuous because the world is dynamic. Things tend to change very quickly. Which we will talk this week, next week, so then another thing we talk about. So the more frequently we meet and discuss honestly, we say the atuna, we are the filler, and waiting the big business difficult to tuna, we are bring them out and we self see how we could tweak sat inside them so that. We are able to make more profit and reduce the body on the common man and also pay with tax system, they will sell to get money. I think mean, when they talk about or reduce uh, um, um, taxes on certain essential commodities, let like rest the government of the one cent day. One cent. One cent government of the ad Paris. And the other commodities that they will not reduce. So government they lose, of course. Government 
you know, the other side where they raise money, now taxes. That's what we are not the world. So whenever you come to a tax, government don't lose. But we we not mind for loss, provided the population not go suffer. And that's what we don't do for rest and a lot of other things then. And we even go further as soon as I said token for make sure so we provide for the poorer uh, 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 sections of our society, especially during COVID time. When I remember say why other countries that they do lockdown for one week, two week, we refuse for one. We straight on custom make we own lockdown. Now we're not the only country in the world where we get one day, two day for make we able to and make sure say we release everybody again. Because the hand to mouth be then we now we mind. We know say so Monday you just get to go out every day for make you get what you get. So all of what we do, it care towards making life better for our people. Of course, as soon as they do business, it's about making profit and improving. But of course, when I say as Sierra Indians, and at the critical, difficult time like this, we just want to sit down and talk together, we understand ourselves and see how we can make them lighter on the ordinary people. This is the beauty of this conversation. And this is why we are here. So most of what we don't talk, Things that they will miss of that I mean the new things then to me. And the, the, the ministers then deny um, the taxman deny. We don't we, we will sit down back and take everything we don't done talk and see how we will fit them, synthesize them and come up with new ways how we will regulate things then. But suffice it to say, um, I think we also get for the put of voice out there. You know, politics not ever differ from what we do in this country and everywhere else in the world. The present situation is definitely nobody's making, not as a result of poor economic management or bad economic policies. Now, things the way we have, we virtually don't get any say. We are completely helpless in the face of what that happen, some of the things the way they happen. So, what we what will be done? They do all this time. We meet every week. Now, for see how we we'll be pushing the effect on the ordinary people. But if you don't take all tax, then the the supply chain, international supply chain, disrupted, and the the, the freight they go up. You reduce all your tax. You don't lose everything. Where you get? But the freight don't go up. So you people they still they suffer. So it, it becomes counterproductive. You don't get, then your price go up. Now this we don't suffer. We don't cut, cut, we don't reduce all side. We sell for reduce. And of course, normally, the next people already they blame, now the businessman them. So the more we talk about this, putting politics aside, the more they will understand we now, and also understand, because me I can tell them say, if, this man not to charity, and for make it continue for it as a business, if you bring something where say a rich naya or rich you say the seller, it costs ten thousand, you don't expect them for selling ten thousand. Sure. Sure. That is the truth. Otherwise, I can just I, I, as as well tell you say, close down your business and which the charity they do, tell you money down. They don't drag man. But if you get for continue and try. You must put something on that, the markup. But how we go manage them at difficult uh, at a difficult moment like this, so that that markup day it, it at least go make you survive, your business survive. Because again, now it's a biotic relationship between we and Wuna. Wuna want for make sure say the infrastructure necessary. Because if you get for do that, you they run a business now. You they run your own generator. You they do this, you don't get water, you know, uh, communication difficult for you. All of the things there, they add up to you. Uh, 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 I'm going to call myself um, overhead. And this is man, it comes all the things there. And if it comes up, because every penny counts, the day when begin reduce, you know, they put certain cost. After some time, they lost. They say that business don't go down. But we have 
a country called Sierra Leone, now we all get, get, get for make up. We will say inclusive development, now we all. So that make that issue about policy formulation, the involvement of the business community, right from the outset, uh, Mr. Taxman, Minister of Finance, I think say, if I may, we should not we argue, we agree, say, yeah, I'm not agree, but anyway, this one better. Then we just impose them, you know. <laughs> but I know say, a big argument, because businessman then, <laughs> everybody comes. <laughs> so when I get for ready for the argument, but all which we they try for do, again, when I for understand, we would they say we want uh, men like they, we want men the road they make, we want the peculiar for what school, we want men the hospital they make. The money does not come from anywhere, it comes from the taxes. But me always believe, and that that's me, they always say, we will encourage the business people for make plenty of money. When they make plenty of money, we they know. They will say they know, how will they tax them? If they put some on their hand, but they still they thrive and continue. And the more they continue to make money, the more we serve they get. That is my own philosophy. <laughs> so the environment where they need for make their business they thrive, the tax man is going to watch. And I make some money, they're not even machine because they make almost, we they know how much money they make. <laughs> so, I, I hope uh, you're not disadvantaged. Not at all. You're fine. <laughs> I needed to say this in our local parlance. Um, so we really need for, as, as a country, when certain things they come, I want to take politics aside. Like um, um, uh, the leader for, you know, the bike riders, or will I still be the top? They say fear, no, they, they begin bone tire. Is it produce fear? It is show to the world say your country is chaotic. If me one go spend money now, I see door clean as I open to radio, I see fire in the street, I say me I pack go other side. Sir. So we we don't go talk. We say salon are the best place when I can do business. Then some man the few say he go disadvantage me as a politician by creating chaos unnecessarily when it is not even there. Why would we to a union? Go plunder, transformer, because that transformer get for key good name. Only in Syria. So today I don't understand. We they find money for balance in the air for make people then get a lot and they get light. Somebody some they not to sell it, they go sell them more. Now if I just go for another that area and no get this I know I know I not see any side of the world. So this again on an opportunity. Why would they engage in this? Frankly, we can understand ourselves better, and we can also save enough. Because me, sometimes I don't argue. Oh, them businessmen, I said, no businessman, not the way they just say pride. Because he has a if you know rich, where you know able, you know they buy them. If one sell this and buy the other one, but he get for his son because this condition, the, the what thing that happen around the world, we are not a financial minister they no more to me for explainer. It is better understood. It is. It, 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 your voices are more authentic in explaining this situation. If you don't sell fear at this price, we see the seller. <laughs> we don't get a landed there at a particular price. Government cannot subsidize. So as high as it will go, we just get for say, you know, come out. No, all add the voice. Now the world price. We don't cut everything we have got just for make sure say the price not increase. It is not interesting for us to make prices increase. But then the, the situation, COVID not be done doing it. And COVID, we we lock we, we get locked now. I know they say anybody wear masks. Pass me and the vice president. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. <laughs> we, lock, we get locked in terms of health. It, oh, I can see another. <laughs> we get locked, you know, really affect you for care going on hospital. But other side, it doesn't disrupt so much, and we get, we get to feel the impact because where 
then they say every day it's a cliche. This is uh, um, Adam Pala. The, the world is like a village today. It is true. But I mean, say if if uh, would I invade uh, uh, Ukraine, we can put the sofa now. And bread. In fact, therefore, because Ukraine and, and Russia, and then they produce a huge portion of wheat. We don't be know that. So now it's such a close interconnected society today that something where they happen in California, they affect you directly now. We don't see that. So, but at the end of it all, Mr. Fox to talk about agriculture. That will be go Vietnam. The one person that rest with the boutique, no more drinker. They, they, they suffer for the rest. They, they plant them. They, they, we need another swamp. Then they plant them. They, they attend to them. They harvest them. They process them. And it is 16 hours away from here by air. So they know we just can't take and do it. But waiting we been go for good land. Now for saying our country will be very war, and there will be the import rest. Today, they are one of the biggest rice exporters in the world. They bring over 50 billion to the economy. Billion. And when you watch, we get the same condition there, like there. We got over 5 million hectares of arable land in this country. The truth is, we have been lazy. And when we accept this as a group, as a people, then we will begin work. This is a country where the coffee number one they produce now billions. Coffee. Not to anything support the, the transformation, economic transformation, agriculture. Agriculture. Now, now they mechanize them. They don't bring technology. The research. We the plant rest now. Yeah. One hectare, they give you 1.5 1. 1. ton. They don't do research. They use the rest, they are 7.5, 7.6 tons per hectare. So you can see why the farmer, we don't break him back two, three years. They recommend it. They will all come free, free to. But the same farm I under, now one hectare no more, they can't rest with the plant, the, 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 the water management, the irrigation and everything, seven or more tons per hectare. And because of the variety, and because they get irrigation, it will produce that rest of so 10 liters per, per year in that, that one hectare. How they not be able to produce enough rice for feed themselves and feed the world? We have to do this. We not we not go we not go for escape food. No go put tie in a somanek to kill them both. We have to survive as a country. <laughs> we can do that. We can do it. They land the day. So that. That um, investment in agriculture, and we will see what we will do down there. For what they do in this country, because sixty percent, over sixty percent of the people involved in some form of agriculture, but now then back breaking agriculture, no technology, no nothing. We just they grow no more. That same old seed where in Grandpabi they plant, where they put another banana, the same seed they put back in the ground. It cannot work like that. Every time we plant, we put new seed. They go to get that yield. There are improved seeds today for every ecology. We will give you six, seven tons per hectare. So we learn a lot. I'm not going to go for rest. They wonder where the expense in our rest I go for. Because they, they don't get free rest. So. <laughs> then they work. They don't improve, of course. The machine, they don't come in now. So you know they go put two, they break you back, and so on and so forth. But I insisted on going. I never once said any minister when they bring reports for me. I want to go see myself, feel the people, for make us understand. Because when we they talk, somebody says, "Na grandma, they talk." Me not to agriculture, but what they are saying that that side they are one mess go. 
Salon, we know for the imports, one grains a rest than this country. We can do it. And that, that the people there. In fact, they were so welcoming. As a matter of fact, then don't ask that now ask they ask me for invite them now. They say, oh, can you know, you know, one week said they say when I don't think too much on local we uh, look with this, who one can ministers, this, that, then they come. They say because we have the same conditions and we work for providing her, the waiting we know so that oneself will transform. <laughs> Wish you will do that one day. Wait, why will they talk about rice? Plenty of other things they can inside. Who said that they <coughs> produce the fish? There are plenty of fish. The fish that they produce are not being checked that one day. But I'm sure say the one way then they bend. They pass the one way they catch now the, now the water, now the sea. I see a 24 7 uh, 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 facility where it just they produce processed fish. And the fish themselves, they order the producer now, in one hectare, they do 600 tons of fish. 600 tons of fish in a hectare. So whether in the area will get fresh water than I they are coming. We have to, we have to do it. This is a private sector, not the government. They the supply chain to America. We have it all. One of the business people, they're a little more ambitious. Be more creative. Think afresh. Not to their old business then. Government contract, by the time they pay you, you, you the, the bank they don't finish you. <laughs> when I know that story, not so. But when I can see money away from government contract. <laughs> 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 Frankly speaking, not that we don't want to pay, <laughs> but we need taxes for pay. They will not get it. We they reduce the taxes there no more. So which we they get is small. But really, I wish I be for able care on all. But now that they come, we want to encourage them. How they do them? It looks like a miracle, but it is not a miracle. It is just the concerted effort of the nation. Say. And frankly speaking, if we get the right uh, cap capital, we invest them correctly, within five years we can stop for uh, import price. We just need to forget the requisite acreage, and they're ready for giving the seed rice that, and help you for begin produce we own rice, the seed rice, the one way they plant. Every time we they plant, you for plant fresh seed. Not to that old seed, where you go put some side, you know, if you plant that one day, the yield is a good one. It's not going to be six or seven anymore. You plant that the <coughs> other year, it'll go down to four. As in the plant, an nine we rest, now one point something per hectare. And just imagine how difficult it is to produce. And we, now one thing we produce per year. Then the young rest, they would long um, uh, 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 manipulate. 95 days. They don't really focus. 95 days. These, they are all available. In Brea Naya, we develop the water management system, irrigation, and begin plants in Naya. So that same plant, then if you say I'm not getting plenty of land, that is the same place that you could produce less, rest it, three them by year. And now for each number, make you eat them. Make you not buy rest again. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, we're not coming kind of here for grammar. It is for this simple understanding. For more, we know say there is a symbiotic relationship between winner and we, and all we do that they do, we necessarily get this country attached. When they try, we, nobody wants to raise price to uh, for it, it's not it's painful. In fact, it make when a business will go before because if I not get the money, I meet mean, you don't raise the price, and then they buy. It would have the suffer. They think you don't know you, you know, the service or whatever. I need them, I know you will afford them. You get that you want to sell them, but you said no go option, no go option no more so. You die in money, if not the last thing said, at least many people need money. But the public does not understand that if we don't, we will sit down, if we don't talk, what would they talk about? Are they saying a politician then? But you said some way they import, talk say, that this, but like, like the other issues about uh, port charges, these are things where we need to talk about. Because we said they struggle with this. 
the Portino, the Demorage, uh, which is uh, um, the GST, say so we go get for Sudan and look at especially at this point in time. Why we said they push for GST? Because that's the only way we will able to get money. Who will they pay for them to kill them? Where they can bring the bill? 50 billion for this time, for them to be killed there. We have to pay. We know the print some more. We didn't generate that economically. You know, and it's all for government, you know, to other way. That taxes. That they know more revenue they come on. So, I mean, when I, I, I want from Bekuna to understand that because, again, the other thing that they, this is not about school business, but school is so important. School is so important that we get for need for the put that money into the school then they. When I pick in there, they will speak grammar class with. They will make one better. That is the best investment. Now that make nobody you criticize me, you don't criticize me. Let me kill the head with the load down with the book. Now the best thing around so many refusal now, but when they picking them will begin better. We will see we picking them become competitive around the world. Like how salon be there before. When you produce your document anywhere in England, they, then they rush self for taking because they know the value. But we left Sidon, they all with the support them teach them, and they picking them for the cheat, for the spy by my exam. And that will be the do. You know, parents, teacher, principal, everybody, why how can we connive to kill our children? That is what we are doing. Who we'll begin as a man saying a human rights abuse? But how can you do that when I know? What do you make when I did today? Now small thing then at the age. Now small thing then at the they, uh, as a small country, what do we make you powerful? Now we what do we be the stuff? Now we'll give you the age. That was our progress. The attempts of West Africa. You go, you go na, na, na Oxford said, they don't say, this is from Sierra Leone. I can take him or her without any point. We have to regain that glory. We can do it. But we can only do it successfully in this concerted manner. So, what you make with NIA today? Because it's hard to explain this. We will do for politics. With the sofa. We would explain. Ah, they said the man if he meets almost the rest don't go under. <laughs> I can't <can't> explain. <laughs> they say global. <laughs> They're not gonna understand that. But I think when on especially at this point in time, the world they go to unusual times, I, I must say. Really, when I all know the things they've just come out, we not even know say they come out. But we get to deal with the ramifications. And I want to make, when time like this come, no, no talk along political line. No, be frank with you people. Because we have a lot of young people who know their job. The youth world, they are there. Look that day. Why did they go born tired to produce fear? That day we are brushing with the run after the one there. They know how many times the OMC day plus the dealers, the transporters, how we squeeze them. They, they, we don't we not know how we squeeze them. For me, we don't increase what they say. That is all for make it not go up at all. So maybe we all come out and talk. Otherwise, if we go no more, uh, the, the next election is for sure. But at least you say, na so I I don't transport them from here to here. Na so I pay. So the least we have to sell if not one cent, say many you don't pass around it. But that one cent, if me not just a dealer, I get generator, I get for run generator, I get the whole station, I get other things there, administrative costs. Now that same fear they never get for pay for that one day. If not, I close that. So when we not explain that in then proper business time, when me not be able to even do properly, because I'm not a businessman. I think the people will understand. It is hard, it is difficult for people. No amount of grammar, no go with etc. 
But the more we talk, the more they will understand, they will go through this. And we they pray for more go through this together successfully so that we will able to carry on again. We hope say the prices have been, 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 been will come back to. They miss most of the recommendations they hold on and don't make. We will go if we call some of them now for really sit down and see how we will do them. We self one to the taxes, we not self one to the profit, uh, the, um, um, a healthy profit margin, but there is always a common ground where we can arrive at uh, a solution. We will make our continue with our businesses, which is our business, actually, as a government. Or by that ecosystem, we say when a business is identified, every business, even the one we know they pay tax, they take care of people, they take care of the picking. So now we business for make sure that, that business they not just uh, survive but it thrive. Yes, some man gets they know they they know they come for big. So for me. This is the beauty of this conversation. It's a conversation, and uh, we go structure them so that in future it is not too official. Don't tell me no good day, but when I go we really bring out issues, then I go can join so that we self understand because it's fine for understand what is the happen in our society. I comes better from listening to you. Things that they want to talk way we not remember. Because the Ministry of Finance, they say we going to produce the money. That is what we tell them. So they say they go any kind of way. But there is always somewhere where we can get, you know, uh, waiting necessary for a society good for we all. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you We all we don't come today. We go all get a stake in Sierra Leone. If it is good, it is good for us all. If it's bad, it's bad for all. But we want for me better for women. We don't start a good job. Unfortunately, the good work we do, the COVID and this other Wahala and the so you know, always we know the same. But I will tell when I say yes, Sri Lanka don't start on the good path. It's happening and with this where will they go out now with the film, with the CM and then the tell we. But in the circumstances, you know, we will stand out. But no country you know, that we don't develop over two years, three years, five years. Now consistency in the right direction. Then we make we reach with someone for it. And it take we all as a society. We are all important. Then by command and the Tranga is, but they're necessary. By command and they are command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they more troublesome. Yeah. <laughs> but it's necessary. So I think make we make sure say freedom good for we. Now for control the bike man them, and for control the keke the way they clean from top then, uh who people there for the worker, then they go scrap them. We see bikes then, you know, <laughs> again I cannot hold this. They get more bikes na na Saigon. Pass here. But I tell you, every bike man I saw had a helmet and a, and a mask up to today. Me hate, I know they want to show the book, me hate to continue to be out. I didn't look for the default. Now, 20, 20, 20, how many million people in the city? The bikes, they, they see them, they're plenty. Virtually everybody is almost using the bike. Now, few people they use motor car, but you see them orderly. So, when I get a big job, now they contribute. You know, many people they say, we got this thing, we'll go set fire, we'll go bond it. We'll not get better. Then, <laughs> the small one, we go set fire for now. <laughs> now, with the losses, so we really want to appeal to everybody. This is nobody's creation. It doesn't help. I don't get uh, any pride in waiting to happen. But we have to deal with it as a country. And this is inclusive. So it's great to have you here this evening. And this is not the beginning of the conversation. Whether business triangle or business not triangle before the meet. And chat the way forward. So that we will make sure say, the business environment uh, um, 
um, um, okay for Una, but make Una make money because the more money we Una make, and the more money we self will get. It is in our best interest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I think um, for the inspiration, all man will left this all now feel more inspired that we all get a responsibility and a duty when we contribute to national development. On that note, His Excellency also don't consent to make we get um, good photos. I think it's important. We will get them by the sectors as well, and we will get them outside of the lawn after national anthem, and we will mix with the minister and the back on the good photo. We we'll organize all team over the lawn. So on that note, I will make we all team up for the end of the program for when we get national anthem. <laughs> the President and the Vice President of State, whilst we ask everybody for make their way to the lawn and go ahead. We will start with the petroleum sector. So all man, all OMCs, dealers, transporters will take one. We we'll go to the um, transporters and back when the motor drivers, the procurement them, the cameraman them, and then we we'll go to the traders then, and then chamber of commerce. So everybody will go out, so we will do an orderly. And also the CSOs the bank will join me outside. The CSOs the